air. What is going on, guys? It's my MJH1, aka Maj Marks, aka King Mark. I said we're back with the video, and uh, hey, man, we back. Last of Us 2. It's been a minute since we uploaded to Last of Us 2. Uh, bruh, listen, before y'all come out here and say, I'm a Last of Us 2 hater. I was supporting, I was, listen, you can go back on my channel, right, and you can see how much I was, I was supporting. I had Last of Us 2 back from the jump, dog. I never once, you know, joined the hats, the last, has, last of Us 2 hating bandwagon, because I was, listen, for the most part, Last of Us 2 is actually a pretty good game. And like I said, it was more so like a movie than it was a game. I felt like Last of Us 2 took itself extremely serious this time around. And I don't know, just, it wasn't as exciting like it was for the first one. Like I said, it took a lot of risk. That's one thing I will say. Last of Us 2 took a lot of risk than the first game did, for sure. But my man's Manix, bro. Y'all know my, listen, we had Manix here on the on the channel before. You know how we all know how much I love my, I love this guy. This dude's freaking hilarious. Um, he also dropped, dropped a Cyberpunk video, so I definitely want to check that out as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what he has to say about this. I saw Last of Us 2 one game of the year. Listen, that comes to surprise. On top of that, they didn't just win, like, uh, game of the year. They won a lot of stuff. They won a lot of awards and stuff like that on, uh, the game, the game awards and everything. They won, they won so much. Ghost of Tsushima didn't win anything. Y'all, it kind of reminded me of that time. Y'all remember when Red Dead Redemption 2 won all of these awards, bruh, and everything, you know, I'll never forget that, I'll never forget that, when Red Dead 2, like, won ever, all the awards and everything, you, everybody thought it was going to win Game of the Year, but it was end up being God of War, honestly, my Game of the Year was Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima was the best game uh, of 2020, in my opinion, I feel like that game was freaking amazing, I really enjoyed Ghost of Tsushima, that a story, you know, story and everything, and Persona Five Royal, Persona Five Royal, those are my, those are my two top games of twenty twenty for me personally. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm not sure what and Final Fantasy Seven, right? I didn't play Final Fantasy Seven yet, but Ghost of Tsushima, you know, and um, Persona Five Royal were my top games of twenty twenty for me. Um, those are my favorite. Of all the games I've played this year, those are my, hands down, my favorite games of this year for sure. Um, but I'm definitely looking for, I'm looking forward to see, like, I'm looking forward to these next, these next games that are coming out. I know Final Fantasy 16 definitely had my interest for sure. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, like I said, I was looking for a Cyberpunk, man. I hope that, I hope that game gets passed through. I wish I do want to definitely get my hands on that game for sure. Uh, I'm trying to think what other games are coming out this year. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. My my main. I'm looking. Oh, Persona Five Strikers. I'm looking for for Persona Five Strikers. And uh, I don't know if we're getting a new Naruto game anytime soon. I have no idea about that. But I'm looking for the game. I'm looking forward to this upcoming generation is definitely Persona Five Strikers. And looking forward to uh, Final Fantasy Sixteen because that game looks freaking amazing. I'm looking forward to that game for sure. But nonetheless, the boy Manix. <laughs> we all know about this. About this movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm out of here. We're going to hear what we got to say about this. And uh, let's just look at that title, bro. <laughs> look at that title, man. All right. Let's check it out, shall we? Now, we have the winner of the he started Nobel Peace Prize, Joe Biden. Oh, wait a second. That is the wrong note card. I meant to say the last of us two. Oh, the SJWs are literally ruining every aspect of society. Except for anime. Japan is firmly sticking to their guns. One pulling no punches. When they roast the woke crowd, they almost do it as good as me. Almost now. And before we get started, we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by Yo, the end my boy of December. Yo, give my boy Manix the 50k, baby. Let's get it. Six thousand subs away. I think we can do it in 15 days. Actually, scratch that. I know we can do it. Irony and hypocrisy. Wow, I've never seen that pair before. It's Kotaku calling out Neil Druckmann. This has too many layers of irony for me to handle. So first they award Neil Wokeman and now they want to <laughs> cancel him. Yeah, that definitely sounds like an SJW to me. They didn't get it until bruh. after 
for the award show. Very suspicious. Now, I have a secret to tell all of my fans. I've been holding this in for the longest time. Before the Game Awards, I want to say around two hours before it started, I literally found a suitcase full of Last of Us 2 votes. Yeah, I know I should have said something, but the show was so cringy, I thought it'd be more interesting to watch the world burn. Okay, Dang. look, joking Dang, aside, that's the deep, reason bro. why Neil Wokeman is being cancelled, Naughty Dog paid for advertising for the Game of the Year awards, but forgot to pay protection money for the week. The check probably bounced or something, and once the gaming media wasn't on the payroll anymore, they decided to twist the knife and stick it to Neil. Imagine being blasted for winning an award by the same group that voted for you to have that award in the first place. That's and deep. That is deep when you think about it. We put it that way. That's actually pretty the deep, woke bro. Gaming sphere and it has begun. Parasites turning on each other. The toxicity is Chernobyl level. And yeah, imagine my shock when we find that backstabbing leeches are backstabbing leeches. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Yeah, I know. They were running out of ideas of problems in the game industry to get clout from. So they decided to come up with their own problems to get mad about. Anyway, there are very few things I love more than seeing bipolar journalists begin to piss on each other. What you're looking at is the result <laughs> of raising two generations on participation trophies. That's where it gets you because I'm like I said, I even said, don't even be surprised the last of us 2 was gaming. I won't listen. allies who they will dump on the side of the road the second, the moment they are no longer useful to them. You know, I'm starting to think that game journalists aren't the most trustworthy people. The average peon might look at this and think, oh, the journals are finally seeing the light. No, oh, no. the reality is it's a pathetic, sad desperate attempt to try and restore faith in the game's journalism. No, fuck you. We know it's an attempt to try and unburn the bridges that you spent half a decade taking a flamethrower to. No, thank Dang you. Yo. Imagine Maybe this is letting them have it, bro. Yo, instead remember, of those pesky were, so gamers when it's the, the gamers who will actually buy and play your games. Down, I mean, they will be upset and blame those very same gamers when the ratings for the Game Awards 2021 next year will tank to an all-time low. Anyway, look, the most important thing to remember is that Ghost of Tsushima won the Fan Choice Game of the Year. Yeah. And that is all yeah. that matters. It was my Nobody game of the year, that's for sure. about your soy -filled Game of the Year awards. Gamers always vote with their wallets and judging by the stacks upon listen, stacks listen. of the I was surprised. I was surprised, but I even two, said don't be surprised if Last of the two Regardless, Last of Us 2 yeah, we all chose our no winner. I mean, what, the though. Last of Us 2 sales took a nosedive. Literally a day after release, whereas the Ghost of Tsushima well, is the highest selling that, no. original title on the PS4. Oh, and quickly before I forget, I didn't mention this in my last video, the Harvey Weinstein of the video game. A phallic symbol on his wife. Our buddy Neil had a deadpan expression on his face every time the skip cinematic of us part two won an award. I mean, it's almost as if he knew if he threw enough money at every garbage review. All right, I will take the game for the last of us two. And bravo to Abby Zilla for winning really the men's good. magazine that man of the year. That, 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 that was the show. bread and butter of that game, bro. The game of the last of us two is definitely great. Damn, that's crazy, man. Yeah, right, man. Hey, man, y'all know how Manix is, bro. Y'all know how he gets, bro. Y'all know how he gets. Uh, listen. I even said, don't be surprised if Last of Us 2 ends up getting in the conferences for Game of the Year. Because regardless, regardless how people felt about Last of Us 2, it was still going to be in the Game of the Year category for sure. It wasn't going to be, like, left out or anything like that because people disliked the game very heavily, heavily and everything like that. The game was going to be in that conversation for sure. Just because people hate it, just because people have a love and hate relationship with the game, it doesn't change the fact that it was going because the name behind it, because it's the Naughty Dog, because of the name, of course it's going to be in the conversation. It'll be high, it'll be highway robbery if it wasn't. But I do think Ghost of Tsushima was the better game. I think it had a stronger story, 
for sure. Way better character development. I personally did enjoy the gameplay for Ghost of Tsushima over Last of Us 2. Easily. Easily. For sure, dog. Um, I like Jin. Jin Sakai. He's great. I, like I said, I know people had an issue with him not having much personality. I feel like they gave him the personality when it mattered the most. They didn't, it didn't seem forced with the whole character with him. Everything kind of came fluently. The game was great. So, I don't know, bruh. But, anyway, man, I, that's all I got to say about the, uh, It is what it is, bro. I mean, Last of Us 2-1 game of the year. And on top of a whole lot of uh, other awards. But, tough. That's all I can say. But I will see you guys in my next video, man. See you soon. Crazy, bruh. It's crazy.